pets. They come in many different shapes and sizes. For most of us, they are a source of comfort, enjoyment, attention, affection, and unconditional love. But for one man, pets are merely target practice for a shotgun. Meet Tom Faber, a man whose hobby consists of adopting pets only to slaughter them with a shotgun for pure entertainment. When asked why he chose such a sick hobby, Tom had this to say. A feeling of accomplishment that like I actually did something. I asked Tom what he did with the carcasses of his victims. His response was disturbing. I cut the head off and give it to one of my friends because she's oriental and she makes a stew out of it. One must wonder if this cat knows the hands of fate in which it is held. Tom's warped mind has even come up with twisted names for his shotguns. Yeah, my uh, Benelli is called Bonnie and my Mossberg is called Clyde. So I put them together, get Bonnie and Clyde. He even claimed he had a scrapbook of his latest kills. Yeah, I have a scrapbook at home on my mantle full of Polaroids of all my memorable kills. There was Duke, Diesel, Rocky, Fluffy, Snowball, Max, Sport. So, what happens to the animal when Tom doesn't kill it with the first shot? I shot it, crippled it, thinking I was a shell that took off after the little bastard. Once I caught up to it, I grabbed it by its neck, squeezed real hard, and gave a quick little spin to snap its neck. So many animals, so much rage. When asked if local authorities would try to stop him by taking away his firearm rights, a frightening revelation was displayed. I would point my gun in their general direction, and then normally run away, and then I would continue my hunt. It seems that no animal is safe around Tom Faber, and with no one to stop him, he has free reign of any animal that crosses his path. Your pet could be next, so keep your pet safe by keeping them far away from Tom Faber and his horror hobby. Tom Faber, the man, the murderer. Let the bodies hit the road, let the bodies hit the road, let the bodies